Hi, I'm Todd Alby with Stove Tech and Aprovecha Research Center. Today we're going to talk about our one door stoves and our combustion chambers. Part of the magic of our stoves is based on the combustion chamber. By having an insulated combustion chamber above the flame, you have very efficient combustion with mixing of the gases for efficient combustion that even allows the smoke to be reburned as fuel. There will be very little smoke evident. You won't really see any after you get them lit. This amazing clay, uh, when it is excavated out of the ground raw in its natural state, has a very low specific gravity. And this is a key factor uh, with having efficient combustion. Think of a bread oven that may take hours to get up to temperature, whereas with our rocket stoves, you can boil four to five liters, gallon, gallon and a half, in 20 minutes with just four sticks, very little amount of fuel. You can see with our combustion chamber that this raw clay goes through two firings, a green kiln firing and then a final ceramic firing. This chamber, this combustion chamber, actually floats in water. You can see it floating in water. And that is one of the primary reasons why we have such an efficient stove. Now let's talk a little bit about the chamber differences between the economy and the deluxe stove and the echo ceramic. The economy and echo ceramic stoves use the combustion chamber, the ceramic combustion chamber is shown. The difference is that the deluxe chamber additionally utilizes a refractory metal combustion chamber. This refractory metal combustion chamber promotes long life and protects the ceramic, especially if you're in an area where the stove user is going to stab the back of the stove with sharp objects, uh, so on and so forth. This provides additional protection to the ceramic. In addition, if the chamber were to be fractured for whatever reason, um, the refractory metal combustion chamber liner will keep it all intact and it will have absolutely no impact on cooking performance of the stove, even if, even if you had a significant damage to the stove and had a lumpy stove body, the stove would still perform the same. So the refractory metal is key. There are some stoves on the market, st uh, rocket stoves, that are building stoves only out of refractory metal without a ceramic core. You can see that the ceramic core guarantees, this thick core guarantees years and years of use. Whereas a refractory metal only chamber is if this burns out, you then have a useless stove that you will have to dispose of. So with our stoves, you have multiple layers of protection. Another um, decision you might want to make with regarding the one door stoves and selecting the difference which stove is right for you is the cast iron tops. Some rocket stoves out there unfortunately are built just with steel tops. That's a stove that's going to fail uh, in short order. You must have a cast iron cooktop uh, to have real durability with a rocket stove. The economy and ceramic stove uh, use a much thinner top as you can clearly see on the stoves. In fact, uh, the economy stove is only four millimeters uh, thickness, so 
as with the cast iron frying pan, it can crack uh, if dropped. So this is just a little over an eighth of an inch in thickness and is prone to cracking if dropped at a sharp angle on the side with your stove. There's also only three pot supports uh, on the Economy and Echo Ceramic stove. Our deluxe model, in contrast, has six pot supports and it is uh, just under one centimeter in thickness um, and um, a little over three eighths uh, inch in thickness. So this is a much more durable cast iron top. Uh, if it's subjected to a blow, you will have longer life. Additionally, there's a difference with the racks, the fuel shelves in our stove. You can see right here on the left, the economy door, the economy one door stove has a loose rack that is set in place uh, inside the chamber and is supported there. And the floor of this stove is refractory cement. It is only about a half inch plus thick and right around one centimeter thick uh, in thickness, the combustion chamber floor. The economy stove does have very thin uh, sheet metal around the door and it is prone after two, three years to get quite a bit of bubbling on the paint. This has nothing to do with the performance of cooking, um, but cosmetically, uh, the Echo Ceramic or the Deluxe models are, are a much better looking stove. You can see with the Echo Ceramic stove, the reinforced metal around the opening is very significant and includes a fuel shelf pot support guide for safety. So this is not going to come loose when in use. You can also see that the floor is significantly thicker than the humanitarian stove. In fact, this measures um, just over one and a quarter inches or three centimeters in thickness. The Echo Ceramic floor uses refractory cement for a much more robust stove. The deluxe metal stove utilizes two layers of fire brick tile for the floor. So the store floor is actually a little lighter. This floor with the fire brick um, is one and a quarter inches in thickness or three centimeters in height, uh, roughly. With the uh, thicker cast iron top, this stove also has the fuel shelf guides that if you have to pick up the stove in an emergency, you can do so. There are other, also are other rocket stoves on the market that build the hand grips inside the chamber that cannot be picked up uh, when the chamber is hot and you have a full fire going. So this design uh, is intentional and very specific from a safe, uh, safety standpoint. As in my cooking demonstrations, I have showed that you can also touch the sides of the stove while it is in use and not be burned. Of course, the cast iron top pot skirt or the pot are gonna be hot and you can be burned if touching those surfaces. And that uh, is the primary differences of the one door economy stove, the Echo Ceramic one door stove, and the deluxe metal lined one door stove. Thank you.